All right, I got another animal video for you guys today. It's called <laughs> Why I Throw the Cactus Before I Go in the Ocean. This is probably the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in the ocean. That's yeah, nope. Yep. I feel like the ocean has some of the creepiest, unexplored, unknown about things because we are not capable of exploring it nearly as well as everything else. And therefore, I feel like the ocean is the scariest thing. Thing is actually a big fin squid and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Scientists believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean floor, snatching up anything unlucky enough to accidentally brush up against it. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid we know almost nothing about it. We yeah, because we can't freaking go research stuff like that until they, like, wash out. Until they, like, come up to, like, high enough elevation or whatever that we can, like, perceive them or they wash up on shore. I don't know how they mate, how they live. All we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the height of Mount Everest. That's insane. That's, that's horrible. But you see, the one nice thing we have at our disposal is unless they like hyper evolve or something, they're down there and we're up here and we don't have to go. We don't have to go in the water. Here's the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile. And since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible they can be even bigger than we thought. This sea slender man's arms Whoa. are covered in tiny suckers, meaning once it grabs something, there aren't a lot of things strong enough to break That's free. That's a daddy long leg of the ocean. I have no interest. Those arms can be over 90% of their total body length, and they hold it at a 90 degree angle, which makes this violation against nature look like it's T-posing. Yeah, it's like Ocean Slenderman. Like, please, no. As technology improves, we might have a chance to learn more about them. Which isn't a good thing, they need to stay in health. Well, facts, but they slowly get more and more disturbing. Blue whales can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female, meaning 360 gallons get dumped back out. In case you're wondering, that's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. Great. Yeah, see, this is why we should just stay on land, you know? Ooh, we should just stay on land. Just, I don't want to swim in that. Whales will go three player with two males and a female. While the first male is getting his rocks off, the second wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place for a process that can last up to an hour. I mean, if they're all having a good time, I mean. Some scientist had to film this and write something about this. And friendly reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm oh whales my. are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble oh to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the sense. Alright, how many people die to sperm whales every year? Hold on. There's never been a report of a sperm whale eating a human. Okay, yeah, but what about the whole they could kill you because of water vibration? Okay, we don't have any studies on this, John. This is a water assassin and we, it, I do, there's no studies on Google that I could find. Blue whales are big, but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They can swallow almost- Their heartbeat? You can hear it? Oh my god. Half a million calories at once. Allegedly, a whale's far bubble can enclose a full-grown horse. And because I am who I am, I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis was about 16 feet long- Stop! Stop! Why? I could go my whole life! I could go my whole life not knowing this. I hit that. Stop! Weight anywhere from 700 to 900 pounds. Blue whales don't spray that water. That could feed a family of four. I'm sorry. Rather than blow holes the way you see in movies. It's actually warm air being forced out of the lungs. It's basically its breath. It's one of the most unholy smells that can ever assault your nose. Like burning rubber in a fish cemetery. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. That's gross. And I'm not going to lie. I wish it were true because of the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free therapy. But it isn't. Most of the ocean salt. Darn, I was going to say. The looks on people's faces would be worth. Salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually reaches the ocean. And the reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on billions of years. Darn, I guess, I guess that's the real reason, but that's not nearly as mortifying. How are we going to make a headline out of that? That's not good clickbait. Some of the salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. So yeah, you don't have to worry about salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned with the fact that your perfume used to be made from whale vomit. Yeah, I have learned the origins of perfumes, and now I know why I never liked perfume stores. Like, I always sneeze, so like, I never, I never like, understood the interest. The more you know. Fish you should be most afraid of isn't the shark. It's the stonefish because it can deliver venom powerful enough to cause crippling pain and toxic enough to activate your life insurance in less than two hours. 
This is a fish. It looks like a freaking like cursed toad. With like some artistic freedom. This fish is armed with a venom called verucotoxin. As a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. But no worries. It gets worse. It always gets worse. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the- Hey! Me show me show me when I get weight nut water on my face. Ah, stop it! Me show me we just got past the whale nut water segment. I was moving on, some guy. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis. I mean um, doesn't that one other fish that is, what is it? Is it a t tiger fish? The one that's got the stripes that's like red, red stripes and white fish. Doesn't that do something similar? Yeah, lionfish. I mean, it would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body. And even if you survive, you could still walk away with permanent nerve damage and muscle atrophy. I wonder if this is the same. I wonder who's more dangerous, this fish or a lionfish. Unfortunately, uh, I, I met somebody who got stung by a lionfish and it literally looked like lightning struck their body where they had touched the fish. It was horrible. And it jumped like it touched part of like their their arm ish. It was a while ago. It leapt out of the water and like it got their face and it literally looked like lightning like struck it. It was really weird. It was it was really creepy. And they had like issues with it for life. But there's two big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most dangerous fish on Earth. One is this picture because the stonefish looks like a stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one. And when you do, those spines oh, will get shoved yeah. up your foot. And the harder you step, the more poison gets pumped into you. And that two sucks because you wouldn't even see them. So it's not like you can like avoid them. Like a lionfish, like at least they are like very brightly colored. Let me look it up. Oh, so stonefish are more dangerous, apparently. Stonefish are considered more dangerous overall. This fish has the most potent venom of the venomous scorpionfish, lionfish, and stonefish family is, and is considered the world's deadliest fish. So, stonefish venom contains a cocktail of toxins that can affect the heart, skin, and nervous system and enough toxin to kill an adult human in under an hour. Yeah, that that's terrifying. That's scary. They can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. Because Australia is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. You should never pick this shell up because it's actually one of the most venomous things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. What the? That would be like getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts because ironically, this snail is one of the fastest animals on the planet, being able to hit you almost as fast as you can blink. All right. The fact that a snail is one of the fastest things is not what I expected to hear today. That's not the only thing fast about them because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one, you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. Wow. If you got stung, you would Scary. immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, numbness, and vomiting. But don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that point, you can go ahead and start printing out shirts because you finna be on one. Like, oh my god, this is just a tiny little snail that's like extremely fast. And even and though deadly. the cigarette thing was an exaggeration, it could take only five to eight hours for them to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now the problem that's with crazy. the snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey, and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine, which works on fish and stupid people that pick them up. Oh. They don't just use one though, like Tyson. They this is why you don't just go around picking up random things in the ocean, man. Maybe on them combos, they can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The only cure is to try not to die and become a Snapchat memory. Well, your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean. I should probably explain what the hell this is. That was an angel shark, and that's the worst Call of Duty player you'll ever meet. Oh, no. The angel shark will lie motionless for days waiting for anything bite-sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life. Oh, my God. Sounds like a cheat code, but there's no referee in the ocean, so this camel shark stab pets kills like no other. But you Bro don't is camping. Camping out! have to worry about them snatching Patiently. up your leg because they're only interested in fish, crustaceans, and mollusks like squid. That being said, angel sharks are a lot like electrical power sockets. They're only dangerous if you're stupid enough to poke them. Now you would think that's common sense, but because oh these sharks stay perfectly still, scuba divers think it's a good idea to touch them. And Again, this is the second animal that people have tried to touch, and if they wouldn't have, they would have been fine. 
<laughs> makes these sharks go from mannequin challenge to homicide. Luckily, Stop attacks are rare, and as long as you're not an idiot, this sea carpet won't fade you. Good thing, too, because there's a shark in this picture, and he may not be an angel, but he'll turn you into one. Oh, Reasons gosh. why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfectly harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small shrimp. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant placemat couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're That's smart nice. enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection, something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta ray. That's cute. I like the little bubble blowing nice one. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean and they Wee! do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators, but sometimes it seems like they do it just for fun. They I mean, to... I would. That's that's a max air you got going. The largest Wee! brain of any fish, making them arguably the smartest things in the ocean that don't also belong on a list with Cosby. That isn't a TV guide. Baby manta rays are called pups, and the mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there. And no, this that's is not pretty edited. kawaii. This that's pink manta ray was found off oh the my god. Look at this anime girl. Coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef. Proving That's that that really pretty. What the heck? Treasure and Satan's Jungle Gym. They're smart enough to form strong emotional bonds with each other, and they're smart enough to ask for help. One repeatedly That's adorable. approached a diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye, and she oh. waited patiently as he removed it. Once he removed it, she swam off. What would happen if you took one of the meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Well, two things. One, you'd have one of the most violently aggressive animals on Earth walking on land, and two, I know this because it technically happened and they exist. It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins of any kind. They jump yep. sharks for no reason, slap box their babies, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. And the worst dolphin of all actively tortures other animals for sport. Dolphins and whales are part of a group called cetaceans, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi-aquatic and then fully- What the heck? S what? This is what- This is what was before a dolphin? It looks like it could be a relative of a honey badger chat. They're, they're already troublemakers on land. It's all starting to make sense. Aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land, and about 54 million years ago, they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land, and after millions of years of plot development, they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. Daff what the heck? Oh my god, so the ones that went underwater became menaces to society, and the ones that didn't also became menaces to society. African homicide horse is actually the There's closest no living good relative ending of whales here. and dolphins. One's a bipolar tank with Roy Ridge and a devil's overbite, and the other's a pufferfish abusing shark assaulting sea quagmire, and that is f***ing <laughs> evolution. Remember that dolphin- Oh my god, these two sides of the same coin are both atrocious. That's crazy. Sound effects from Spongebob that was supposed to be like a sensor. You know what the f*** I'm talking about. Well, that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin. It was actually what? the sped up laughter of the kookaburra. What? Oh my god. This whole time, every dolphin sound that ever existed was a kookaburra. It's a kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying Lies! I can't believe they tricked me! Way too They'd hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. You can really hear it, like, when you think about it, too. I'm never- I'm never gonna be able to see it the same way. You may not be able to hear it, but when you- That stock sound effect is- is, like... Well, the playback speed, you forever, can hear the sound of cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. <laughs> Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack Tweety. Evolution Oh my is god, not the Australian crack Tweety! Going into the ocean, like, the- the creepy things we find out at the ocean daily, I think are some of the scariest things ever. I don't- I don't know about deep-throating a cactus, but you know, I- I would rather not go into the ocean.